We are living in an age of celebrity chefs, and the man responsible for it all is the first celebrity chef, Mr. Jeremiah Tower. Well, now Anthony Bourdain and CNN Films have made a movie about his intriguing life called Jeremiah Tower, The Last Magnificent, and we're here at the Tribeca Film Festival at the red carpet premiere, so get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. Jeremiah Tower, they made a movie about you. That guy right over there, that Anthony Bourdain, he knows what he's... It's all his fault. It's all his fault. You're, right. People like him exist because of you. How does it feel to have a movie made about it? Well, he says the nicest things about me, so of course that's why I had to make the movie. Um, but he's the real hero here. You know? um, the movie is amazing. I was completely stunned to see some footage in there that I haven't seen since I was eight years old. So, uh, And it's a very beautiful movie. Very when, colorful, very beautiful. When you look at the celebrity chef culture we have right now, Anthony's at the top of right. it, you have the Mario Batali's of the world, right. I mean, there's so many. Did you think it would explode? I mean, did you think that chefs would be famous? No, I mean, we were just, I mean, from my point of view, what I did, as I was just trying to do as much PR as possible to fill the restaurant. You know, and the next thing I turned around, it was Time Magazine saying, who are these people? So, no, I never expected it. Today, you're telling the story about the guy who is kind of responsible for why people like you are here now, Jeremiah Tower. Talk to me about how did this whole story about making a movie come about? Well, I, I read, I, I, of course, I'd been aware of, uh, of Jeremiah and his career and his enormous influence on the way we live and eat in America today. Uh, but I read his memoir, California Dish, and I thought, you know, it's really a crime that, that more people don't know his name and don't know more about this fascinating man and the enormous effect he'd, he'd had on uh, on restaurants and for various reasons he'd been written out of history and excluded from the official record he, he became inconvenient to the narrative and I wanted to correct that why do you think that is because we look at the celebrity we're in this celebrity chef culture people like you Mario Batali what do you think it was about him Jeremiah is a difficult man uh, he had a uh, he had a uh, uh, an explosive and firework filled rise and when he disappeared from the scene there were a number of people who were happy to see him go and uh, there were also people who were still around who you know to the, to the victors go you know the victors get to tell history the way they want and the people who remained became the sole creators of, 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 a, of, a, of a history that Jeremiah was at least largely responsible for. Looking at where it is today, does it blow your mind to see chefs are famous and what TV has created with this celebrity well, chef look, culture? It, I mean, I say this jokingly, but it's true. Until Jeremiah, I mean, Jeremiah was really the first American celebrity chef. And I think the most important aspect of that was before Jeremiah, nobody really was interested in what the chef looked like, much less wanted to have sex with him. <laughs> part of part of the reason you went to Jeremiah's restaurant is everybody, male and female alike, wanted to have sex with Jeremiah Tower. The reason you guys are here is because of him, or the TV personality guys are here is because of him. What makes him so special? Why should we make a movie about him? He's a fascinating creature. He is the most elegant human being I've ever met. He has a pitch perfect palette, and when he opened stars, it was if it was as if the the heavens opened up to me and said, "This is what you're going to do." When you look at what the celebrity chef culture has become, what are your thoughts? Because people like you, I mean, there's Anthony Bourdain, you guys have become mainstream household names. Mind-blowing what it's become? Odd, at <laughs> be and certainly it's strange, but you know, in the, in the same way that you used to go to a game and get a bite, or go to the opera and get a bite, or get a bite and go to the movie, now the bite can be the main event for the night, so of course there's a little adulation of the people that do the stuff. It's good if it's right. It's not good if it's not right. Talk to me about Jeremiah. What is he like in real life? I went into his restaurant, kicked my shoes off. I had on pumps. It was the winter. And uh, suddenly a big magnum of crude champagne hit the table. And there he was, all in white, standing there, grabbed a shoe, poured champagne in it, and started drinking. First time that ever happened to me. 
right away you're like we're friends from that great. moment we on were. it was fabulous to see a movie made about his life talk to me about him being able to put his life to film i uh i wonder who did it i wonder how it'll be and if it's you know this much as big as he was it'll be a wonderful film